Yay for moms and how they archive everything. My mom sent me some of the first stories I wrote in school. And right on top was an A. Of course, I was really pleased. And then I read it. Well, I thought, oh no, you must have taken someone else's paper home. But no, it was mine. Every part of every sentence was exactly where it was supposed to be on that page. But reading it was like, well, yeah, just one page. And it was pretty hard to miss. I was not a writer. I was pretty short on personality, too. I felt a strange, masochistic urge to read more, <laughs> like ripping off the Band-Aid. I turned the page, and there it was, my original, my first draft. <laughs> it was nothing but red circles and notes on what I'd done wrong. There wasn't one sentence on that page that was left unmarked. Clearly, every change that was suggested, I'd made and got my A. That first draft, though, that was entirely my voice. It had all of the same rhythms, the same point of view that I would have my whole life. One time was all it took. I was never willing to trade that again for an A. And I've got the papers to prove it. <laughs> oh, this is poopy.